Welcome to my Lost Ark Quick Guides where I tackle a commonly asked question or issue from gamers out there and give a quick, concise answer without much fluff or making you sit through tons of promotions. Let's get right to the issue at hand. I wanted to touch on a daily feature that many people might not know about or be doing, and that is Una's tasks, which is something that anyone can begin as soon as they hit level 50. Well, it's not quite as easy as just hitting level 50. You will need to have completed the blue quest lines up to reaching Vern. Once you reach that continent, you'll do a couple of quests in the city there, which will introduce you to the government of Vern and also the Chaos Dungeons. From there, you speak with Rotaro, and voila, you are now able to do Una's tasks. When you gain access to these tasks, you can open up the menu by pressing Alt-J by default. Now once you have the tasks unlocked, it's just a matter of completing tasks being asked of you that are your basic side quests located throughout Arcasia. There's a menu with submenus divvying up the various aspects of Una's quest. Keep in mind you are limited to doing three of these per day, and you can also do three weeklies, which are a little more difficult, requiring you to do in-game activities like boss rush or chaos dungeons. Here's a quick graphic of the weekly quest and objectives to complete. Keep in mind that dailies reset at 1am UTC time, weeklies reset every Thursday. If you happen to miss a day of Una's tasks, you will receive double rewards the following day for completing a task, which is very nice. Now, while doing these daily quests, you will also be increasing your reputation with certain NPCs associated with Una's tasks, which will of course unlock further rewards per NPC. There are 65 NPCs currently in game to gain reputation with, and each NPC has three levels of rep to work through, with rewards given for leveling. You also gain materials and or various currencies. If you're in a guild, you can also do guild requests, which will be beneficial to helping your guild earn XP toward their next rank. These are weekly quests that are to be selected by your guild leader, so check with your guild leader to let them know they are missing out if they're not aware. When deciding on a task, you can pick and choose which ones you want to take, and Black's pro tip number one here is to look at the location before selecting it to see if it's in your current zone before choosing one blindly that might be on the other side of Arcasia, not to mention getting to also see if the rewards are something you are currently after. Once you've completed one of Una's tasks, turning them in is quite easy and your quest guide will tell you where you need to turn it in. Here, I did the Black Fang Kill Pirates daily where I went to the Black Fang Island, waited around for the Pirates activity that starts every so often. For me, I waited around 15 to 20 minutes before it started. Then you kill the gangs of pirates that show up and their leader, and I was then able to turn in the quest inside the hut here. Upon completing these missions, you will earn points, which you can see here on the Una's Tasks menu, and as you gain more points, it rewards you with Una's tokens. You can earn up to 78 points per week if you did all the dailies and weeklies. You can actually skip up to four dailies and still receive the maximum number of Una's tokens because of the catch-up system. The points are account-wide on your server, so it's not per character. You can redeem Una's tokens at a gold exchange merchant in major city hubs. These merchants will exchange the tokens for bags of gold. Each bag can drop a random number of gold depending on which set you trade for. Small pouches usually drop around 200 gold, while the small safe drops around 700 gold. And the large gold chest has a chance to drop a giant gold bar, which is worth a whopping 10,000 gold. Make sure to pray to RN Jesus before trading. I told you that was quick. Now, if you want more quick guides like this from Lost Ark or other games I cover, please consider subbing and liking what I do. Have fun, be kind to your fellow gamer, and stay positive.